Yeah. There's a war going on outside no man is safe from. There's a war going on outside no man is, no man is safe from. There's a war going on outside no man is safe from. That's not just a head song of my time. That's real. But we're not going to talk about the war against us and the police. We're not going to talk about, you know, I guess the war that we go through with being men and our family, like, you know, going to war with you, sometimes with our family, you know, the wives or, or children or different things. We're not talking about like the war on black on black crime right now. We're talking about something bigger. Something of a magnitude importance. Right? We talking about it's a lot of Muslims out here. Right? That we have to understand where we stand when it comes to being Muslim and your man, real talk. And this is a talk that I realize has a lot of importance and depth because um, in real life, this is a topic that need to be discussed, real talk. A lot of times, you know, we say Islam over everything. And we mean that at the time. And we mean that all the time. But Allah says, do you think that you're going to call yourself a Muslim and not be tested? Right? That's dope. When you're reading it in the Quran and Allah giving you the warnings of, you know, you can't just say this, I'm going to test you, right? But we don't realize sometimes in real time that the Quran is an instructional manual from for for now all the way to the end of time and all the way back uh, during the prophet time when it was being revealed. Right when we say we Muslim and Islam over everything and Allah over everything, we're going to be tested with that. Right? How can you be tested with brotherly love? How can brotherly love be tested? Okay. One way brotherly love could be tested is Islam, we band together like a group of brothers, right? We would, we would consider ourselves a brotherhood, right? We gonna ride or die for each other, right? Now I rock out, you know what I'm saying? I earned these great heads, right? And I rock out for my brothers, right? But what about my mans in them? I'm going to rock out for them too. Allah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wali, he said we're supposed to protect people, period. The Christians, the Jews, the Savior. We're supposed to protect them as best as possible. You know what I'm saying? As long as it don't hurt us, we're supposed to protect them. We're supposed to give them our oath. When we when we give salam, that's a verbal oath. You know what I'm saying? That you, as long as you around me, you're going to be protected. Like this, 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 this religion and protection and, um, and, and, and it's not just for women, it's for each other as men, right? When it comes to your brother and your brother, meaning your brother in faith and your real life brother or your, your street brother, when it boils down to choosing a side, what's very important is what side you're going to choose. Because Allah watching, the angel watching, Allah's caliphs or leaders on the earth is watching. You are you're even being watched. You watching yourself. You know what I'm saying? The women watching, the children, everybody's watching. And at the end of the day, when we claiming to be uh, the best of people, because that's what we claiming to be when we claim to be Muslim. We claiming to be the best of people, the strongest of mind, the, the most inte intellectual group of people of logic because we're choosing the most high almighty over everything without doubt every day of our life now what happens when your muslim brother is beefing 
but your set or your gang or your crew or your brother? What's the proper what's the proper way of, of, of looking at that? Because at that point it's real. You have to choose a side. There's no in between. There's no in the middle. This is your test. You at bat. It's, it's the, the test ain't the test is directed to you. You are directed in the middle, and we all know there's no neutral zone. You have to choose a side, right? What is the proper thing to do? Well, first thing and foremost, this religion is a religion of peace. So before we even thinking about going to war, we should be trying to make peace first and foremost. Choosing a side and making peace. And how do you do that? Well, you choose the side that you want to go to first to have the peace talk. Whichever the side is more you're more comfortable with, because at that point and period in time, you are in the middle and it is not you your job to instigate or to uh, to navigate a situation and make it worse, but to do a laws better as his trustee on earth, right? And make peace as best as possible. This is our job. Going back and forth. Like during the time of the prophet, when, when they was about to uh, go to um, Hajj the first time, you know what I'm saying? They weren't allowed to, to to enter into Hajj, right? They had to stand on the outside. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wali, he had he had the numbers, he had the army, he had the weapons, he had the group, he had he he had it on his side, and he could have just took over, but he allowed peace and peace talks to go back and forth, whereas though peace is what made a lot of people that were stuck on the inside who feared the destruction that could have happened, become Muslim. Because at the end of the day, if Allah puts you as a leader amongst men, meaning men who are not Muslim yet, they all are looking to you as a guy because Allah said this religion is the best way. This is There's no better way on earth than this. And there's no disrespect to anybody that's listening, but there's no better way than this. We eat the best food. You know, we treat our women in a certain kind of way. We, we supposed to raise our kids a certain way. We treat each other a certain way. We treat outside. Now, we might not do that all the time. So blame the person, not the religion. But this is the best way. This is the best. There is no better way, right? Um, We have to learn that sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises us in rank. Meaning, he raises us above other people so that we could do his bidding. If you're a Muslim and you're in a in a crowd of ten guys and they're not Muslim, you are automatically the leader, and that's the way it should be perceived. If from no one else, it should be perceived that way by you. That means you have to make certain choices in certain matters for you all as a crew or a clique. And when Muslims are beefing with non-Muslims, right, then it's your job, if you know that that person is a Muslim, to try at least to keep the peace. Because who want to be the one who threw the first stone at their brother when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that to kill a Muslim is to kill a whole nation? Who want to be the one who killed the whole nation? A whole Look, what that's saying is, imagine waking up tomorrow and there's no more white people on the whole earth. Not just in, in this little earth we at, but on the whole earth, they don't exist no more. That's what like killing a Muslim is like. It's like waking up tomorrow and there's no more light-skinned people on the whole earth. <laughs> yeah, I know. What would this world be without light-skinned people? <laughs> what did you feel me though? Shout out to man, my light skin. You know what I mean? Had to throw that one in. It's just a little human thing. But um, what I'm trying to say is we have to we have to make good choices, and we have to know that it's Islam over everything in real time. Kings of DC, the movie is on the way. Shout out to. Everybody's gonna be part of this movie. And if y'all need a two toe, holler at my company. All right? A one to on World War Polo Entertainment Group. We out here.